What's up you guys, it's Jaden, Moonlight Craftsman Channel. In this video, I'm gonna quickly answer your question. Can you weld copper? So let's get to it. So can you weld copper? I have a couple coupons here right now and I'm not talking about soldering copper. I'm not talking about brazing copper. Uh, I'm talking about welding copper. And the quick answer is yes, you can. To get the best results, you're going to want to use a deoxidized alloy of copper. This is copper 101. Uh, I believe copper 122 is also deoxidized, and those are preferable for welding. You can weld alloy 110, which is the most common alloy, but you're definitely going to want the right rod. And I'm going to be, I'm going to actually weld these here for you real quick, but. ESOB deoxidized copper wire that's what you're going to want and that's what I'm going to use today a 16th inch on this 16 or 14 gauge copper here I'm going to just uh, turn my welder all the way up weld it on DC I'm going to put it on 200 that's about as high as it goes so it's a lot of lot of a lot of amps for a thin gauge but that's because it dissipates heat, dissipates energy very easily. It has a lower melting temperature, but because of that, because it dissipates the heat so much easier, it needs the higher amps. I'm gonna be using 100% argon, but if you're looking to weld thicker materials at the same, with the same amperage, you can use an argon helium mix or straight helium. So if you see this and you try this out, you might want to try that out depending on your application. So let's go ahead and weld these two pieces together. So I've got it tacked up for you guys and I'm going to go under the hood. Here we go. So when it starts to heat up and it starts to melt, you're going to want to move fast because once the metal gets up to temperature then it it just starts to melt pretty good you might have to back off the heat with your foot pedal and adjust it manually So when you're done welding it, you will have some oxidation on the outside. So I have cleaned that off with a wire wheel. Pretty simple. Show you guys what it looks like. That is the front side of the weld. And that is the back side of the weld. So it's not really that hard. With a little bit more practice, I could get a little bit more consistent. Uh, the main thing to worry about when welding copper is what's called a uh, hydrogen embrittlement which uh, to avoid that you're going to want to use the right alloy of material the right welding rod deoxidize both and also you're going to want to move fast the faster and hotter you go the less likely you're you are to get that embrittlement so also did you guys notice there was a wasp in that shot so your Miller Synchrowave can also double as an expensive bug zapper, just in case. So if you haven't subscribed already, do that. Hit that like button for me if you would, and I'll see you guys on the next one.